Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Bringing you a fly time video this week. This week it's one for fun for me, but I actually do fish these. And I love to fish them. It's an intruder. It's a mini intruder. And uh, it's meant to catch steelhead. You can catch trout on it. Tie it down a little bit smaller. Um, you know, I do fish mini spay flies, mini intruder flies for trout. And I catch fish on them. Especially in the spring when the water's up a little bit. I, I swing these style of flies all the time. I tie them a little bit differently and you can go back and find my old trout spay fly video. And that's what I normally fish, tied with a rooster saddle. A lot of, sorry, a rooster pheasant, cape. You use a lot of feathers off the cape and it makes a really cool brown mottled colored sculpin kind of um, streamer fly. So go back and check that out. But today's fly is meant for catching steelhead. And, uh, it's what I love to tie and what I actually love to fish when, I, when steelhead season rolls around. So I have a big pile of these here. I'm going to show you a picture right now. I tie this in a lot of different colors and I don't really get particular. I just mix and mess around with colors, change, do what I want, whatever, however I feel, whatever moves me. And uh, I might tie two or three in case I do well with it. But that's all I'm going to have is two or three because I'm going to have two or three of something else in a similar pattern, but a different color. Um, mix things up, that's what it's all about. Find what works for you and have fun tying. Anyhow guys, here you're gonna see a picture of the micro intruder and then the material list to tie it. Okay, here you see this cool looking fly in the vise. Well, let's get into tying it. It's going to take a little bit. For starters, I'm using a Daiichi 2220. This is a size 8 hook. And I'm just going to put that in the vise. And the next thing we're going to put on is some purple 140 denier thread. Just going to start that on there and then cut off my tag. All right, next thing we're gonna put on is the stinger hook. For a stinger hook, this is, the, this is an equivalent of a Daiichi 2557, um, size six. But this is actually a Gamagatsu circle hook, which I picked up at a bait shop and because um, I wanted a red stinger hook. This is a caramel row eight millimeter bead on some Senyo wire, intruder wire. So I'm just going to set this on there, have that bead go right off the back of the bend of the hook. We're going to cut the Daiichi hook off later. And we're just going to wrap that right back there to the bend. And I'm going to keep these nice and even right up on top the whole way up to the eye. Now, I'm going to bend these back, which is going to lock my wire in place. I'm going to bend them back as hard as I can and tie them down and that will keep them from coming out so you want them to be cut a little bit short i had them already pre-measured that length so they worked so again bend the other one over tie it down nice and tight all right oops step my line there which happens sometimes got a little sharp burr on that wire Caused me to cut this 140 denier thread. So I'm just going to go back over and lock her down again. Just correct my mistake. Now we'll trim all this off, get this out of the way, and we're going to get into tying this. The next thing we're going to put on is a set of dumbbell eyes. I'm going to tie them up right behind the eye. Oops, I'm going to tie it pretty close to the eye. Because I don't want too big of a head here. So just going to put them on on top. The opposite side of the, my hook gap. Because this is going to be eventually the bottom of the hook. And that's why I put the intruder on the same way as, as the hook. Because I want the hook point to ride up. So once I get this figurated on there nice and tight where it's not going to move. 
just gonna come right back here to bend to that hook again and we're gonna move on with some more material next piece of material I'm gonna put on is a piece of purple this is a strung rooster saddle and I pulled all the fluff off and got it down to where I have a tie-in point there we're just gonna tie that in there and I'm gonna palmer this around a couple times and oops I don't like the way that went it brought backwards for me so let's get it going the other direction here we go I want those fibers facing backwards as I wrap them it's just gonna create a little bit of color at the back of our fly so nice tight wraps you could use dubbing here and uh, make a little dubbing ball egg it would work fine but we already have this plastic egg back here so that's why I didn't go with that route and I went with this purple now I'm going to make sure all my fibers are pointing backwards the way I want them. Trying not to stick myself with the hook there. Next thing I'm going to come in with is some guinea body orange. And I pulled the tip here and I stroked all the fibers back. So I'm going to tie this in by the tip. And this is just going to give us a nice color contrast here. The purple and the orange will look great in the end. Just cut off my tips or you could fold it backwards either one and again I'm going to stroke these fibers backwards and make a couple wraps on here just to get a nice color contrast going and as I wrap just keep working them backwards get about three good wraps on there Preen all those fibers out of the way. And then trim that off. Again, move all my fibers back. And keep everything flowing backwards. So that's looking nice. I like that. Next thing I'm going to put on is a piece of polar chenille. This is medium polar chenille in... Uh, UV pearl. And this is just going to add a little bit of flash into my fly. So we're just going to tie that on there and bring this up here behind the eye and I'm going to make a couple wraps around here. And each time I go by, again, pulling everything to the back. It's a common theme of this thing. Everything needs to flow backwards on this fly. So I'm going to get about five or six nice wraps here so just build up a nice little amount of color there a little white to add some flash to it go about halfway I would say and then peel everything back again now for a little bit of extra movement on this fly I'm going to add some legs, some rubber legs to this fly. This, these are perfectly barzilli leg. These are sand. It's just what I had laying handy on the bench here. And it'll look, it'll blend in nice with this color combination here. So find something that matches what you're tying. And I'm putting three strands, wrapping it down on one side, taking it over to the other side. And then just smoothing it out. And then I'm going to take... Pull these legs backwards, and I'm going to cut them off about where the hook is. So about the length of the back of the hook shank there. The bend of your stinger, I should say. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a wing to this fly. To add the wing, I'm going to flip it upside down. And I'm going to use some Senyu laser dub. And for this laser dub, I'm just going to put it in my fingers, and I'm going to pull it apart and just keep putting it back together to so get all the fibers flow in the same direction and the same length. Then when I get that, I'm going to set it on top of the fly. Make two or three wraps here. And then I'm going to fold it back over to make a nice wing. Fold it back over itself and tie it down. 
All right, now I'm going to add a little bit of extra color to the front of this and put a, some more of this um, rooster saddle hackle here. Just gives it some stiffer fibers to hold the marabou that's about to come. So I'm just going to make a three or four wraps of it. And then tie it off. And then we're going to come in with our last material. Oh, not our last material, our next to last material, I should say. But first we're going to, again, make everything roll backwards here. Keep working towards that head. Move this over in the center a little bit more. And then the last, well, sorry, next to the last thing, is I'm going to take two colors of marabou here. I'm going to take a piece of purple and a piece of black. Stack them on back to back here. Put them, match them by the tips. And I'm just going to grab the tips and I'm peel the tips back so I can tie them both in at the same time by the tips. Let me find out where the black one is. You want to use just the head of this marabou. You see how I slip, stripped all the fluff off? I'm only using like an inch and a half max of the front of the end of the feather. And I'm going to pull all my fibers back and just have that tip. And I'm going to tie that tip down on the top here. Now you can double this back over. Works nice here. Tie that into the place. And then I'm going to bring it up in front. And then I'm just going to take and twist both of these at the same time making sure the fibers go backwards this is going to give it a nice mottled look having that purple and black both mixed in there together I'm going to get about three wraps on it and we're going to tie it off and tie it off right behind the eyes And try not to trap too many fibers there. Get everything flowing well. And then we're going to cut the tips off. The tag ends, I mean. Alright, now we can take our brush. Clean everything up just a little bit. Oops. Careful with that Senyo Laser W get stuck up in it. But it'll make a nice wing. You just don't want to brush it out too much. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do... And I'm going to add to the wing on this just a little bit. And I'm going to put two hackle tips. So this is just a um, bar ginger hackle tip here. And I want it to go about the length of the hook back to where the hook is. And I'm just going to lay it right on top and tie it in around those dumbbells. So I'm just going to figure eight over my dumbbell. You can see here and just tie this into place. And then I'm going to put one over the other side. So I'm going to go opposite directions. So I have two on here. And it's just going to two little, extra little movement. This fly is all about movement. So figure eight both of them in, then cut them off. And then just get everything back out of the way and clean up that head with some nice wraps. Just get it all cleaned up. I'm gonna whip finish. And hit it with some UV glue just or head cement, whichever one you use. And uh, clean this fly up. So I like to use UV glue because it dries so quickly. I'm just going to cover that up nice and secure all my wraps here. Make a nice solid head on it. A little bit of a long tie today, but it's a cool looking pattern when it's all said and done. All right, the last thing that we do on this fly is we take it out of the vise and we're going to cut that Daiichi 2220 hook off. So I'm just going to take a pair of pliers, pull my stinger hook and that egg down out of the way. 
and come in and cut that hook point off and you got a nice stinger with an egg on there and that is all this to this fly i'm going to show you a picture of it right now finished uh, you can see how it turned out how cool it looks it's just a fun fly to tie i love tying intruder flies um, i love swinging these things when steelhead season comes around one of my favorite things to do a little bit of muddy water i'm swinging a fly i'm swinging a, a some kind of streamer but intruders have been my go-to here in the past couple years i have a lot of fun doing it because the steelhead love to hit them they hit them hard you know it and it's a lot of fun to catch them on them so i hope you guys enjoyed this i know it was a little bit of a long tie um i enjoy tying them i you know tie the same thing over and over all day long i like to experiment these intruder style flies they're totally a freestyle kind of tie like mess around with colors change the colors don't get stuck on one thing i like to tie in whites whites and greens you know they work well for me because of the emerald shiners and stuff but probably my go-to is purple and black so the purple and black one like i tied here for you today that's what i'm going to be using on the stream if you have any questions about it um my setup or how I fish them, anything like that, feel free to shoot me an email at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. Also, guys, I'm trying to keep the box stocked up with all the steelhead flies here. You know, I'm going to be working on some white lightnings, filling them back up. Um, steelhead candies have been selling like crazy here right now. So uh, you can always drop me an order if you want to get some custom tied stone flies or something like that. You can shoot me an email at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com and I can do a custom order. Or you can find them on our website along with all the materials that were used in this fly today. All but that hook, I picked it up at a tackle shop. But like I said, it's the same as the 2557 Daiichi. Um, all that you can find at wholesingersflyshop.com. Thanks for watching everybody. I enjoy bringing these to you. And until next week when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.